tragedy. To believe in me. Can't you hear me? I'm right here. You know what? If, if you can't hear me, then I need you to listen to your heart, okay? Because I'm right there. You know, you said so yourself. I'm right there. I need you to look, look up. Ethan, I'm, I'm right here. If you can hear me, I want you to know that I'm going to do everything I can to take, take care of your family and your children. I just don't know how I'm going to do it. Because all the strength that I get, I get from your love, Teresa. suffer, Teresa. I'm suffering right now seeing you like this. Should have seen my mom. She was screaming. i never seen her like this. It was bad enough when she lost Antonio. Now it's like she lost her mind. She, uh, she sedated. Yeah, the doctor gave her a shot. It's not fair. She's had more than her share of tragedy already. Her pa left her. She lost Antonio, and now she lost Teresa. No, she hasn't lost me. I have to make them hear me. I still can't believe it. I keep thinking she's going to run around that corner over there and just say she's fine. There's a chance she's still out there, you guys. Yeah, there's a chance. Look, I talked to the rescue worker, and she was pretty pessimistic. Well, come on, Ethan. We saw the sharks out there. They found her shirt covered in blood. Shredded by sharks. More than one. I don't want to hear it, Louise. I don't want to hear it. You and this woman over there, you evil witch. This is your fault. How exactly do you know Teresa and Pilar, huh? Perhaps you should ask this young lady. When, isn't it? What are you talking about? Why would I ask Gwen about anything? Because it's all about Gwen, Ethan. She has started everything. Why ask me? I'm sure Gwen can tell you the whole story herself. Gwen? Look, I've been standing here. I've been talking to her, trying to find out more about what has happened here, and she hasn't told me anything. You're sure? Of course I am sure. What do you take me for? A lying, scheming, blackmailing murderer, Gwen. Now, Ethan, you forced the truth out of her. Nice try, Miss Vasquez. You're not going to blame someone else for what you've done. You're going to pay for your crimes. You know, Luis Miguel and I, we saw you fire a rocket at Pilar's and Teresa's boat. That's attempted murder. And you're going to do a lot of jail time for the murder of Pilar's sister and her sons. And I'm going to add Teresa's death to the list. How dare you talk to me like that? I didn't kill her. Do I look like a shark to you? Yeah, you do. And you disgust me. You think about what you've done. You've taken the love of my life away from me. You took Pilar's sister away from her and her nephews and her daughter. You better get on your knees, woman, and pray that Mexico doesn't bring back the death penalty because I guarantee you I will make sure you rot in jail to the day you die. See, sí, gracias. I know we may be wasting our time. It's just that we want to look for ourselves. I was a rescue worker. She told me where they found Teresa's blouse. All right. Then we got to go. We gotta go. She could be unconscious. She could, she could have washed up on shore. We, we gotta go find her. She could be looking for us, Louise. Listen to me, okay? I don't want Teresa to be alive just as much as you do, but I just don't think that it's healthy that we're clinging to false hope. We need to accept what's happened. No, you don't. I'm, I'm, I'm standing right here. Look, don't think I'm losing it. I understand what you're saying, but I'm just having a hard time taking this in because I don't believe it, all right? Yeah, it's gonna take time for all of us. Please, no, don't give up, okay? I don't know what's going on with me right now, but I'm right here. 
All right, guys, then we got we got to go look for a body. Even if the sharks. I don't want to hear about the sharks, Miguel. Because whatever the hell happened out there, she's still there. We got to bring her home. We got to take her back to Harmony. At least put her by the cemetery where the cliffs are. She loved it up there. It's beautiful up there, and it's green, and she deserves to be there. And we could visit her there, okay? Can we please do that? We'll, we'll all go look for her together. Yeah, if the sharks. Hopefully we'll find her body. You haven't given up, have you? Because I'm not dead. I can't be dead. Can I? There. I don't want to hold you. Don't bother looking for your sister. She's been divided up by now. One shark has a foot, another an arm. Ah, oh, shut up. <laughs> Oh, sharks are famous, and their sharp teeth are very efficient. None of her went to waste. Don't. Yeah, the federales will be back soon enough to haul you off to jail. Oh, that's a joke. The only person who deserves to be in jail is your mother. Do not talk about my mother like that. Well, I don't know what the connection is between you two, but by God, I'm going to find out. Well, I could tell you everything right now if you'd like. You know what? Save it for the police. I don't want to hear your lies. I'll find out everything I need to know from my mother. And you stay here and keep an eye on her. We're going to go to the other side of the harbor. Okay. Ethan, are you, are you really sure you want to do this? Yeah, I want to see the spot where they found Teresa's blouse. And if we can't find her body, then maybe seeing the place where they found the last trace of her will help me accept that she's gone. Don't accept it. Ethan, I'm not dead. I'm not dead. Anything? No. I didn't see anything down there either. Just footprints on the sand from all the rescue workers. All right, look, we've searched this whole area for clues. We say we move back down there by the rocks, huh? All right, let's go. You guys, forget it. Just forget it. I got Lola. I know you're humoring me about this whole thing, all right? We're not going to find her, are we? We're not going to find her body, are we? It's all right. You don't have to say anything. I was just hoping that. I feel her. I, f I'm, I am getting the strongest sense that she's right here. Ethan, I am. I, I'm right here. And if this is where they found the last trace of Teresa, then damn it, this is where I, this is where I'm going to say goodbye, right here. The little strange. What if you're right? I think I'm dead. And no one can see me, then I must be dead. That's why I can't touch anyone. Dark shoreline in a foreign country. And I feel her and know that she's here. I'm gone. That means I have to leave you. And Ethan, I don't, I don't want to do that. I feel like I could just reach out and touch you. Feel her. I'm here. I'm, I'm right here. You don't have to look at me like I'm crazy, you guys. I know she's gone. I just, I just, I just feel her here. I, I, I've lost her, haven't I? Yeah, we all have. Listen, I know this sounds kind of nuts, but do you guys mind if I have some time alone here? 
I just want to say some things to your sister that I don't want anyone else to hear. Is that okay? Yeah, of course. Come on, Luis. Oh, Teresa, I pray you're listening to me. I, uh, I don't know if I can go on without you. You must. See, your love gave me strength and hope. I'm looking at the world right now, and it's dark, and it's, and it's flat, and it's cold, and it's ugly, and I don't, I don't think it's fair. It's not fair because we struggled so hard to get where we're at. For it to end like this, it's not right. You remember when you first met me. I know you do, because I do. You poured that pain on me. I thought you were crazy. I thought you were insane, and yet you lit a spark in me that made me understand that I didn't have to live my life the way my parents wanted me to, and to lead the life that was laid out in front of me. You showed me that my life could be filled with hope and fun. Laughter and love, and dancing and fighting, <laughs> passion and, and even a little danger. I never knew those things before. You scared me half to death. And I loved it. I loved it. I felt alive for the first time. And damn it, Teresa, now you're gone. Don't stop feeling that way because of me, Ethan. See, honey, you're the reason I am who I am. Because that Ethan that you met many years ago, that boy, he was so young, he wasn't so strong, he wasn't so confident. He wasn't so commanding. Most of the time I was just frightened that someone's going to call me out as a fraud. But... Honey, you popped into my life and I looked into those big brown eyes of yours and I saw that man that I knew I could be. The guy I wanted to be. And I worked so hard to become that man for you. The guy that you could count on, the guy that you could lean on. I think I came pretty close. Oh, you did. You always did. But that's what you gave me. You gave me the strength to be a man. And without that strength, I don't know what the hell I'm going to do because I'm scared. I feel weak. I feel helpless. And I know there's people in my life that need me to be strong like our little girl. And our boy, little Ethan. And your son, little Ethan. Hey, don't you worry about him. I'm going, to, I'm going to raise him right. He'll be fine. I'm going to put on a good act. I'm going to suck it up, and I'm going to, I'm going to have the strength to raise him right. I just don't know how I'm going to do it. I feel like half the man that I was. I love you so much. I can't believe you are gone. Well, Teresa, I don't know quite how to say this to you. I guess this is it. I know we'll have a service for you in harmony. It's going to be beautiful, but this is the place I'm going to remember. Because this is where my dream died. No, no, don't say that. Love doesn't die. You do me a favor, though. You make sure that you uh, look down on us. Never stop sending us your love, okay? I will always love you. I will always love you. And I have to say something to you right now, and I don't want to say it, and I know you're not going to want to hear it, but I have to say it to you. Goodbye. Goodbye, my only love. Goodbye. I love you. Forever. What's happening?
happening. Ethan? I'm going, Ethan. I'm going, I don't want to go, I don't want to leave you. No, I love you. Sure.